right i'm going to quickly go through activity one and what needs to be done as you can see here this is examiner's report and this is a worked example of what needs to be done more or less the same thing very close right so this is what the examiner says needs to be in the screenshot quite simply actually let me just show you how to do activity one so let's just say this is my folder with part a stuff so activity two three and four i already have right so i'm going to create a new word document i'm going to right click in that blank space go to new create a word document and i'm going to give this the name same as the other so activity one underscore my number whatever number you've been given seven eight four five one two underscore my surname underscore first initial of my first name right first letter of my first name press enter as you can see that goes to activity one and it moves straight to the top i'm going to open this document and the only thing i need in here if i go back to the examiner's report it says i just need a screenshot so this is from the examiner's report and this is from the worked example so again as you can see all i need and it says full marks were achieved quite simply after you've created your database done your normalization added your tables done your relationships that's it you're done primary keys are all set you're good to go so let me open a database quickly if i can find one oh here oh that's not one go to my downloads folder yes i've got one here which was sent to me and to do this you're going to go to database tools relationships and it shows the relationships of the stuff in your database currently right so let me just move this up just make it nice and neat so it fits relatively well so that the person marking can zoom in as much as they need to and see all the stuff that they need to see so spread this out a bit more than that 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 should be all right to be fair so on windows 10 you're going to press the start button and you're going to type s-n-i-p-p-i-n-g snipping is going to come up with snipping tool a shortcut that works for me and should work for most of you guys if it has not been blocked you press the windows key hold it down you press shift hold it down and you press s for sierra this is going to come up right once this comes up you're going to be able to drag over the area you want so for me i'm just going to drag over this area and that's going to show all my relationships all my table names all my column names within those tables i'm going to go back to my empty word document here and i'm simply going to say activity one that's it Put a space there if you want to and i'm going to paste i can right click and i can go to paste that's one option there that's the easiest way i guess for most people or i can press control on my keyboard so ctrl press and hold it down and i can also press it v for victor and that's going to do exactly the same thing so to paste is control and v to copy is control and c for charlie i only need one of these i'm going to delete that one that's fine that's more or less done let's go back to the examiner's report to see if they had anything else which i didn't have okay activity one database relationship screen print why not give it that name screen print or a screenshot whichever did i spell database wrong okay fair enough screen print screenshot whatever works and that's it activity one is actually finished so we know I need to save this first of all so I click on the save button up here or I go to file and then save but I also need to export this as a PDF remember file export create PDF XPS document create and choose where I want this to be saved I'm going to say submission and I know this is going to be for part a double click on that this is where I want it to be saved I click publish and that's it. I'm done. Okay.